Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, today I will try this ready to use pouring Pebeo paints. And I'm just thinking I will use just those. No, probably in this order. And I will do a split cup pour. Uh, and I have aqua and gold and uh, metallic cobalt blue and metallic violet. These uh, colors look looks gorgeous, but I don't know. I used some Arteza premixed paint before and this is the second brand that I will be using and I have to be careful not to add too much paint. I will probably do it like this so I will pour some gold here. Whoops. Those are really thin if I compare them with my thickness and aqua we will see how this works and they are really expensive so but I just want to give them a try and I love this purple one and this cobalt one and they are different consistencies. This one is much thicker than the other two. So I just love this cobalt blue. Only the purple is thicker, so weird. We will see what will happen. Wow, this color is just gorgeous. Such a shame that they don't have this one. In their palette. Of. Um, iridescent paints. Whoa. So weird. This violet is so much thicker doesn't even want to flow off. weird totally different than my paints
I can already see that they are reacting totally different so I'm really curious how this will turn out and I will pour some of my white I didn't buy uh, white and black and I will just pour some around just to help them flow they look wonderful but I don't know how this will look like colors are beautiful but I will prefer to have those cobalt and violet metallic in impasto paints and mix them myself probably I don't know so let's move this and spin and of course I have this worm again that I don't like and I will just break it because it's just something that I really don't like but the colors are just gorgeous <coughs> I wish that I could buy those colors Cubes. Because this metallic cobalt blue is stunning. Wow. Colors are beautiful, but I really didn't do a good job. <laughs> this split cup. I know that uh, Artist Loft has this um, beautiful metallic cobalt too, but of course I can't buy it, so maybe this will not be something that it will look uh, so interesting for all of you in States, because you are used to to have this cobalt metallic blue but I don't so we'll just go over the sides with this because we really don't like this part okay and back to the middle Such a shame that I can't buy this color because it's so beautiful. Probably I should uh, 
take you for a <coughs> close up with the flashlight on because otherwise probably I can't show this properly. The colors I mean. Violet, metallic violet, and cobalt are really stunning, but it's so different uh, than my um, consistency that I have quite a big challenge to do that, and you have a glare, of course. I will try to do a close-up with uh, my flash on. Okay. They are beautiful, but as I said, um, they are quite expensive, so I really, <laughs> I really would love to have them uh, in tubes that I can mix them myself. Hope that you can see. They're really shimmery. But I can't say, I will not say that they worth their money or something because they are way too expensive for my taste. But I want to give them a go, but <laughs> I'm in love with this cobalt blue. Um, give them a try, and uh, so if anyone will see them and want to try them, that you know how they are. Beautiful, but probably too expensive. <laughs> uh, but I, I think that this will dry really, really, really nice with all those lines in this metallics iridescent thing. See, it goes from these blues to violets and everything but I don't know just a test that you will know this is it for today and see you on the next one bye